live view exercises in this exercise we are going to see how we can find out the slope of multiple lines in a graph so for example if we are acquiring some census data or anything then we can build up multiple lines in a single graph so but for me i am using right now this excel uh, file as for the values that i can put on my graph so this is for the first line and this one is for the second line so if i just go back onto my front panel here is i'm acquiring the dot csv file and then if i run my programming here i'm acquiring these lines and these slopes so let's just see how we can build this vi and how we can find out so first of first thing is we just need to put an xy graph in here and then elongate it so that we can better visualize it and then we will just jump back to its uh, block diagram and there we will just start from uh, by reading uh, the uh, .csv file there we can just place a control function to summon our um, .csv file and then we just also have to give it a comma separation so that it can uh, check what values we need so here uh, that's how we can acquire all our rows and columns in the form of the double uh, double um, double fun uh, uh, integer function and then what we need to do here is uh, we just uh, need to use an index array function to properly call our all our values so here we are going to elongate it and we just need to select the columns basically we leave all the rows but we just select the columns within the excel file so this column will be our zero and this one will be one and the second is just three and third and then fourth so that in this way we are just going to build our uh, program so let's just give a constant of one and similarly leave the second and go to third and then just again give a column of four so these are giving us sub arrays we can use this build array function uh, sorry we can use this uh, bundle function to give it to this value and this is our x and y function we can just give it to x y graph and check if it is running properly or not i will just select the file path in here and if i run my program right now as you can see this is creating and giving me a line so if i have to run the uh, if i have to uh, show the multiple lines then again i can use another bundle function in here and give this value as well and right now i just have to build array function and then just combine these both and then attach to xy graph and this will give me the two lines right now so that's how it is generating the two lines so now we just need the the slope of each uh, of each line so that's why we are going to mathematics and then go to fitting here we can find out multiple functions but right now the most suitable function that we need is linear function so we just need the x and connect it to the x input and then y input and similarly make a copy of it by pressing control and dragging and after that we will just connect it to x and similarly this one will be our y so it, it is giving us multiple outputs the best linear fit or the slope and the intercept right now we just interested in the slope although we can get multiple functions out of it so we are just creating the slope in here create an indicator again so this will be just giving us the slope here two indicators are representing the slope of each line so if i run my program in here so that's how it is giving me the slope of each line